welcome to this uh, encounter. It's always a good occasion to get uh, together. And we feel that uh, we always have the strong desire of sharing with you uh, what is going on with, uh, in the sailing community in general <coughs> and with the uh, Swan in specific. Uh, so also in this uh, occasion, we are not so many, we wanted to keep it limited, but people that we uh, respect uh, and uh, with, who would like to share this uh, information. I think this is occasion today to talk uh, a little bit about SWAN in general, and specifically about uh, SWAN Maxis. As uh, you know, we have uh, taken a very specific strategic route uh, in NATO SWAN, where we want to leverage the credibility, the reliability of our products and the know-how we have built over time in very specific areas, but in a very organized and dedicated way. So there are really five areas in the Swan world that are taking place. Obviously, the Swan line is the heart of our company. Yachts going from 48 to 78, and uh, the Maxis, which we'll talk more about today, the special projects uh, where we have just uh, finished the launch of uh, the 125, which is, uh, shows really the ability of uh, Swan to gather some of the best people around the world, whether they're in the design, in the uh, project making and or the workforce uh, and uh, and then the racing area with the club swan which is a separate very separate division and last but not least uh, the power boat which we have just entered in with uh, the swan shadow and a few um, boats are navigate have started to navigate uh, this summer but today we think that uh, it is a time to tell you what is going on uh, in this lovely world of uh, the Maxis, which we feel belongs uh, to us uh, in our history. The 36 and the 65s of those times were really big boats, Maxis. Uh, today they're much bigger, and so the DNA of Nautor always has uh, relied on this. We've done a, a very strong and intense work in this uh, last years, and now it's the time to tell you a little bit what uh, it is all about. And I thank everybody to uh, been here with us, because without uh, talented uh, and motivated and passionate people, we could never achieve uh, the results we are aiming at. Thank you. Giovanni? And now the video.
after having seen this uh, fantastic image of our world in the last uh, uh, 12 months. Um, just to recap uh, on what is going on on Maxi, uh, last uh, uh, December we introduced the Swan uh, 88, uh, speaking about uh, a new Maxi era. What is that? Uh, it's something where we dedicated uh, more focus on this area. Uh, we for sure new model, but also what stay behind the new models. And here you have a panel of the people that are behind this. Uh, and today we are going to, 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 to listen to, uh, to their contribution. Um, in, uh, then we met in spring in Portofino, where we uh, introduced the uh, um, greater sister to the 88 with the 108. Uh, and also we introduced the first uh, um, hybrid uh, uh, sail yacht from Swan with the 88 hybrid. Uh, and now uh, we are here today at the Monaco Yacht Show uh, with uh, um, the aim to speak uh, not only about uh, the cruising part uh, of the Maxi Swan, but also about the racing. And we have uh, two facts uh, to, uh, of the last uh, months about that. We launched this year to Maxi, the flagship uh, uh, in the cruising line, that is the 120. And uh, we launched the flagship of the racing, that is the Club Swan 125. The 120 is here after his uh, um, way down from Finland, and uh, the 125 uh, got the line owner at uh, the Fastnet. Um, let's go now to the 120, and uh, I would like to show you the video of the 120. this project I mean uh, which kind of customer we, we, we had in front of us and which is uh, the... the the 120 was uh, was created to uh, create to give pleasure sailing and cruising uh, on board uh, it's about that uh, will uh, offer comfort on both on deck and inside have a nice feeling of, of speed they all, I mean whoever drives her will have a nice feeling at the helm and I, I imagine her um, being fast enough so uh, 
you would uh, reach places, uh, anchorages, and uh, where to swim and dine and live on board uh, in short periods of time. And uh, it's also thought for um, for owners who have uh, non-sailing friends on board, and they could spend. They would have to. Uh, get used to, but uh, thanks to the very voluminous interior light and uh, I think that whoever, even non-sailors, would have fun on board the boat. She, the beach area is, is very generous and uh, all around I think she's a nice looking piece. And uh, offer great comfort for the people on board. Sailing. Very nice. Thank you, Herman. Uh, but the 120 also has been a milestone for our Maxis uh, production because we have a, a, a full uh, custom interior uh, and here we partnered with Mark Whiteley. Mark, what about uh, the interior of the 120? Well, I I think this uh, stemmed from the owners wanting a really um, timeless classic, you know, yacht, a home from home. Um, they liked some of the work we did before, which was more classic. But our our challenge was to blend, was to make the interior work with the exterior and, and Herman's beautiful lines. So, um, you know, the, the balance of the of the classic woodwork and, and everything is, is beautifully made by, by Nato and the team but um, you know this it's also very light you know the windows which are a big feature particularly in the saloon um, the seating converts so that you can lie out literally next to the uh, next to the windows and uh, and I think it's going to be uh, you know very as Herman says a very comfortable interior it has a couple of other special areas including um, uh, almost an Italian coffee area, which is, seems to be popular already, and a wine, uh, wine, wine area, which connects to the um, the galley as well. So it was, as, as we've been hearing, it's a it's a custom interior, um, and uh, and uh, we really enjoyed working with the team from now to to help help create this. Thank you very much. Um, for sure, at the end uh, we will have a, a Q&A uh, session so that uh, you can get advantage of all these guys here. Um, coming to the 88 and the 108, uh, um, here I come back to Herman again. And uh, I mean, 88 and 108, they have new uh, naval lines, or, um, and uh, I know that there is a lot behind, so, but. Well, the, the shape of the canoe body has been developed with the use of uh, CFD technology, which has uh, indicated us uh, how the, the, the water will flow around the hull and it has allowed us for the first, I mean, to visualize uh, the flow and improve the distribution of the volume and the and the coefficients of the canoe of the hull. So the, the boats are better balanced, faster, have more volume in the back, and uh, more efficient. Okay, uh, but uh, with the 88 and the 108, uh, we also started uh, to work uh, together, uh, not only with, uh, uh, with uh, Hermann. Uh, but for, for, the, um, for the deck and for the soccer structure, uh, we work together with Herman and with uh, Lucio. So Lucio, if uh, you can tell a word about uh, the design of the super structure. Ci siamo lasciati l'ultima volta a Portofino, che parlavamo del futuro. Um, ci siamo lasciati così nel, nel senso, mi sentite? Sì. Ci siamo lasciati che parlavamo del futuro e um, ci siamo fatti delle domande su che cos'era il futuro e avevamo detto che eh, il nostro scopo era anticiparlo. Ecco, eh, questo è stato il percorso che abbiamo fatto con questo bellissimo team, sono molto contento di farne parte 
abbiamo giocato su, ehm, sulle masse, abbiamo cercato di portare in equilibrio le masse, eh, un gioco di equilibrio, di dettagli, eh, cercando di capire esattamente eh, quello che era la tradizione e come giocare sui materiali. Eh, nel senso che noi pensiamo che ci sia una forma di pulizia nel, 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 nel futuro, cioè la tendenza è togliere e arrivare all'essenza. Eh, un procedimento molto lento che ha coinvolto tutti, eh, diciamo che il risultato si sta vedendo piano piano, eh, siamo contenti di questo percorso. Dire che il futuro, io ci credo fortemente a questo a questo gruppo di lavoro e secondo me i risultati si, si vedranno. We were in Portofino and we were talk, talking about the future of this uh, um, world and we, I am very happy to be part of this change and um, for the Maxis uh, we are trying to play with balance between the volumes and also we were trying to combine the tradition and the future, playing with materials and volumes. And uh, we could say that less is more, so this is the, our goal for the future. And I'm, and I'm very happy to be part of this, uh, this work. And great focus on the interior after the uh, successful experience we had on the small boats, but also on the 98. Uh, here we had to make another step forward. Uh, Misa, what is new on this boat and uh, which aim? Okay. <coughs> Siamo arrivati ai maxi, ai super maxi. Pronto? Siamo arrivati ai maxi, ai super maxi, suon. Io sono felice perché lavorare su barche di questo tipo, io che amo la barca e la vita in barca, comincia a essere un gioco molto importante perché la barca è, è un momento molto particolare dell'anno, della vita e viverci completamente è importante, perciò è chiaro che volumi, forme, materiali, ricerca, ma l'atmosfera è importantissima e, e arrivare a quella per l'esterno, l'interno, per i posti più disparati della barca, per la spiaggetta, per la prua dove uno va a pigliare l'aperitivo la sera, cioè viverla completamente. Quindi il mio lavoro è cercare di... Eh, di di, come posso dire, di creare questi posti magici che si parlano e che seguono la giornata dal mattino col bagno nella spiaggetta, all'aperitivo nella spiaggetta con i piedi nell'acqua, al pranzo con il lunch con gli amici che arrivano improvvisamente dalle barche vicine, al tramonto a prua sotto, la, sotto il tendalino e questo cioè, il piacere sarà con materiali meravigliosi, tattili, eh, con colori che, che vanno d'accordo sia con la barca sia con chi vive la barca, perché eh, custom o non custom, però la barca deve assomigliare a chi la usa e a chi la vive. Ok, talking about Maxi and Super Maxi, I am very happy to work with this kind of boats because uh, I think that uh, life on board is very important uh, because it is a particular time of life, a particular time of uh, the, uh, the moment of the year. So the most important thing is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is important because uh, people have to leave completely the boat. So my work is to um, make the boat uh, magical, we can say, from the morning to the lunch with friends coming from other boats to the aperitivo <laughs> at the end of the day during the sunset. And also uh, the most important thing is to create a tactile and visible sensation to achieve different moods also the colors as to be like similar to the owners and that is very important because uh, allows the owner to leave completely the boat 
So thank you. And now we leave uh, the cruising world and we go to the racing world. And I cannot uh, uh, avoid to pass my, the, the floor to, to Enrico that I would like also to thank uh, for this free year together and all the experience that he transferred to me. Uh, I'm tough to learn, but uh, I tried. And uh, it's a signal also to have Enrico here. Enrico is still with us. Many people are asking me, but <laughs> Enrico is with us. We are great friends. And uh, so Enrico, your project. Thank you. Thank you, Giovanni. Um, this is a part of the Clubs Online, as you know by now. It's the line that uh, completes uh, the, the, the cruising one. At Swan, uh, we decided some time ago to have this uh, strategic vision to have the cruising line where comfort comes first uh, and then uh, performance uh, is uh, an important asset but is not the first uh, point. With Clubs Online uh, we invert uh, the elements uh, and performance comes first uh, and you still have some comfort uh, into the yacht. The Club Zone 125 is uh, the last born of the family. Uh, you know by now we have the Club Zone 50, uh, the 36. Uh, we come from the Swan 45 that was kind of uh, uh, advancing the, the line and the, and the Club Zone 30, uh, 42. But I think we have a beautiful video to show you about uh, the 125. Let's look at that and then we briefly speak about it. Uh. The applause uh, is uh, for the whole team that made it, uh, made it happen. It's a big team. I'm very proud. Uh, I've been part of it in a way, coordinating and leading this team. Um, 
we quickly realized that this project was uh, unique. Uh, a boat like this has, had never been built uh, in history. The technology, complication, planning, uh, uh, resources, uh, materials uh, that have been uh, used uh, in this project uh, uh, has, been, has never been seen uh, in, in the industry. We realized, we took some time to realize it, but we, we did it. Uh, we then uh, created a team uh, that was totally international. We got the best boat builders, uh, planners, project managers in the world. And for the company has been, uh, as Giovanni said, uh, three years of intense learning. For us, has been an incredible experience uh, being exposed to a project uh, that uh, would have never been uh, possible without uh, this uh, dedicated organization. Um, I have the pleasure to have Juan with me, uh, the designer, and I think that it's much better if you explain uh, what are the features, uh, if the, sp the special features uh, of a project like this. Thank you, Enrico. Um, I, I, I couldn't say that there is a single special feature. I think that uh, uh, under this title of special features, uh, it's a combination of a lot of little things, as you know, that. Uh, have been put together, uh, and in, in, in working together, they sort of uh, enhance the boat performance uh, to a certain uh, level. The, um, uh, what is quite unique, I think, is the combination of all these things, like the canting keel, the draft of the boat, which is uh, over seven meters. Uh, but most particularly, I think, is the uh, sea foil that um, has uh, proven to work very well. And uh, that is pretty much the most innovative uh, part of the boat. The rest is a good combination, a very good execution of a lot of um, uh, key aspects that uh, make the boat uh, uh, sail uh, like she has shown to, to sail. Uh, the boat is very light, under 60 tons, in fact 58 tons in measurement trim, which is uh, pretty uh, light for a boat this size. And so um, uh, this, like I said, um, it's a combination of a lot of things, and uh, it's been a wonderful process uh, that took uh, a long time, but uh, it, was, it was very much uh, studied in every detail, and uh, I, I was very happy to be part of this. Thank you, Enrico, for all the company throughout, and Nautor Swan has been a great partner throughout the, uh, the design and construction of this boat. Uh, she's shown quite a good potential. Uh, hopefully, she will continue to, to do that. I, I have to say that I, I believe this boat will uh, mark uh, one of the steps uh, in the history of sailing. I think she will go in the books uh, of sailing and sometimes I'm, I'm sure we will uh, read uh, about it. One feature, just to make an example, the keel uh, 7.3 meters. A boat like this uh, sails uh, uh, over 20 knots all the time. Uh, she, I think she picked over 30, 35 yeah. knots of speed. So when you sail at that speed, um, the keel uh, happens that is hitting objects in the water. You make the, the, the keel in stainless steel uh, and the little cracks uh, come into the keel very often. So the paint breaks, uh, the water goes through and uh, what do you do? You just take a metal that they use in nuclear plants. Uh, you try to weld it with a company that is unique in the world, there is one in the world that makes it. Uh, and you make a piece uh, and you pray it will work, and actually did. Uh, so this is one of, yes, this is one of the many things. You do a sea foil, a completely innovative way to make a dagger board that doesn't go over the boat, uh, an asymmetric foil that rotates, I think is a seven meter long, something like that. And you do all the mechanical system to put it from one side to the other while sailing with loads uh, that you can imagine at those speeds of what these loads are with an asymmetric fall that is pushing. And it all works perfectly. The boat comes out of the yard in June, goes to the fastnet, uh, luckily makes it and wins it. Uh, this is something we are very proud of. It's, it's an incredible achievement. But Club Swan is not only about performance, as I said, it's also about uh, Comfort. While cruising boats are comfort first performance, then uh, a, a club swan is the opposite, but still, yet there is some comfort. Um, and, uh, and here, I mean, uh, we had uh, with Adriana kind of a unique project in the comfort part, although small, but I would say very highly technological. Thank you.
I must admit, this is one of the greatest projects I've been involved in. It was Juan who got me involved and he said to me, this is a unique project that could do with some of my experience. I come from a little bit of an automotive background and this interior was to be a spaceship, just filled with innovation and pared back to the absolute minimum of what you need in a race boat. So it was actually very challenging to try to come up with something that would add a level of comfort um, without compromising the weight implications and things like that. So there's innovation in the use of materials. Uh, I developed a whole uh, fabric that was used as a noise cancelling, um, almost like a, a recording studio within this space. Curved, almost like the sea foil, so you get this repetition within the interior as well. So it was a matter of trying to bring technology and innovation into the interior and letting a lot of the original racing materials, this is the staircase that comes down, all the bulkheads are left in carbon fiber. The craftsmanship is so beautiful, it was a shame to cover them up. And then just simple things like, um, these are the side um, panels where you have the, um, the pipe cots that are attached. They're all custom. You get a little cubby that's also got the fabric that's comfortable for the shoulder. So it's all done for performance, but trying to really yeah, create a spaceship. It was a, a real pleasure to work with the team, I have to say. Are there, are there secrets uh, you're going to tell everyone, or you keep them for yourself? Uh? The boat is, is full of secrets, and um, yeah, sadly nobody has been on board. Um, the owner apparently has enjoyed it very much so. Um, there are just elements about it that I think you have to step on board and you, you feel this, just a, a unique environment. I don't think there's a boat out there that's been done like this. Thank you. Good. And I mean, the fact that the owner was on board uh, during the fastnet with the uh, four meter waves, uh, <laughs> it gives a, a signal of uh, that part of comfort. Uh, but Enrico, I know that uh, the 125 uh, is not the last, uh, and there is some, something in production, I mean, something uh, under manufacturing that will touch uh, the, the, the water in the next months. Uh, you know, in Swan uh, we are very lucky because uh, we can never, be, we can never, let's say, relax. Uh, with an owner like Leonardo, you can never stop. Uh, and uh, before a project is finished, you are already working at the next one. So, yes, we have launched, uh, you probably know this project of the Club Swan 80. Um, and uh, in line with the Club Swan uh, concept, uh, the idea here is to come uh, with something that is kind of a, a new era, a revolution into yachting. Uh, this yacht goes into the maxi division. Uh, it's designed to compete uh, in inshore and short offshore racing. Uh, at the same time, uh, she has uh, a proper uh, interior as well, like the 125, limited but very luxurious. Um, in these pilot projects, uh, um, as we did for the 125, that we imported uh, a lot of competence from around the world with uh, boat builders, project managers, uh, and top people at the yard to build the 125. Here we have followed a different route, uh, and we have partnered with Marcello, uh, with Persico Marina, uh, one of the best builders in the world and uh, to open, uh, let's say, our horizons uh, to new ways uh, in our business. We think that partnering uh, is the way forward, and this specifically on these pilot projects, uh, um, there is a lot to learn from being together. So, Marcello, uh, the boat is in construction. Uh, tell us where we are and how we are doing. Thanks, uh, thanks Enrico. Well, first of all, uh, I just uh, want to say that uh, really putting together the strength uh, of Nautor and Persico was probably the right things to do, and this partnership can only deliver a unique project. And regarding the progress, uh, as you can see from the, the picture, the boat is out of the mold since uh, July, end of July. So we almost finished the composite box, the primary structure. We are into the system foundation installation. And uh, yeah, we, and, and soon, I mean, actually, the next days uh, we start with the system uh, installation. I have to say it's the right time, uh, at least for me, it was really nice to see the shape, the beauty of the shape. 
thanks to this uh, guy. And, um, and I think it's also the, the right time for, for uh, owners, potential owners, interested people to come over to see at the yard, the boat, because this is really, really the moment where you see uh, the, the beauty of this uh, racing machine. I, I think to, to, to give merit to Juan uh, that uh, his, uh, his design is completely out of the box. You, cannot, you can never imagine what comes next, uh, but I have to say that uh, the definition of beauty uh, related to the, to the user, to the result, uh, is uh, I think the best definition of beauty itself. And, uh, I think when this boat will come out in the water will make most of the other maxes uh, in a way, I don't say obsolete, uh, but definitely a different generation. The same is, uh, as we said, uh, interiors still are a very important factor into uh, these clubs online, so we are not stripped out racing boats, uh, we don't want to be that. And so together with Mario, uh, we, we looked at uh, how to make uh, this uh, combination uh, possible, um, in a way uh, going, looking forward into innovation but at the same time uh, keeping the, the feeling of luxury and style, I would say. Um, I think there are very beautiful images but I would like you to tell us about it. Uh, <coughs> thanks, Federico. Yeah, it, it has been quite, quite interesting and uh, passionate uh, process. Uh, not easy because the priority, as you said, is to have really a high performance, a super racer and super fun boat to race sense of uh, fun, uh, uh, beautiful shape and uh, technology innovation, CFD research and all that. Um, but also to allow the, the owner to enjoy all the beautiful moments that uh, Misa very well described uh, that you can have on a boat, uh, cruising uh, and enjoying high performance boats, so being able to, to have a very nice sailing in the afternoon and relax in the evening with a, with a gin tonic in your hands. Yeah. Um, so, besides this, you have, we, we had to, to, to hope with the One Design Plus. Uh, so, as you said some time ago, uh, One Design Plus means no rating, racing in real time. And as you said some time ago, this class doesn't allow to buy performance, but allows to buy comfort. How? By adding parts that are removable for racing, uh, but that really can transform the boat in, in a pleasant uh, sailing boat for cruising, short cruising, day cruising, but even uh, long passages. <coughs> uh, so as you can see, uh, it, it's really in, in the in the nature of Swan, which from the first yacht created many years ago, combined performances, which means also safety when you have hard weather, <coughs> because you have some, a mean that can really control the situation, uh, and, and also comfort, well-being, uh, and, uh, and all that part, of that side of it. <coughs> um, so this was done in the most uh, possible efficient way. Uh, what you want is also to create an environment, welcoming environment, an atmosphere, uh, where here you can see uh, we, we kept the, the carbon fiber dark color adding some touches of warmness uh, and so being able to, to show the hard skin, inside skin with no panels, with no added weight. Um, and that's 
basically, yeah. But in the previous image, you could see uh, uh, the, the, the sitting area, dining area, all that is uh, mainly removable, and uh, you, 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 can, uh, you can cook, you can also cruise with this uh, war machine when you lift up the sails. Grazie Mario, so the, 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 the job here was uh, to keep it as light as possible and dress uh, and uh, emphasize the beauty of the boat as, uh, as it is. I think the result, uh, at least in, uh, in the render, is, uh, is, uh, is beautiful. The boat is meant to be launched next spring, May, June, in the water, and uh, I really, we all really look forward to go sailing with it. I'm quite sure it's going to be an experience as well. Thank you, thank you very much, Enrico. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, Leonardo, do you want to say something before that we move to the question and answer session? Yes, with pleasure. Uh, I think uh, we all want to thank uh, Giovanni for uh, putting together this group, but even more uh, to show him our appreciation for keeping such uh, a complex uh, company organization together and also including uh, this, uh, so many talented people that uh, I was mentioning at the beginning, uh, but there's something that uh, I think we are very proud uh, in uh, Nauto Swan, which is the long-term vision and also the long-term uh, relationships uh, that we always try to build uh, with the people that cooperate uh, with us. Uh, so there are newcomers in this group, uh, and it's a wish to them, but there are also people that have uh, really contributed to build a swan to the level it uh, uh, has reached uh, for many, many years. Uh, one for everyone is uh, Herman Freres. Can you help me remembering, is it 43 years that you're working with Nato Swan? Yeah. So we, we need to give this a, a big clap. But a, uh, on the track there is one K as uh, the next, uh, maybe with the, one of the, the second one of uh, uh, maybe the only one more real pro, um, naval designer that has joined us. It's already eight years that we're working together, I think. And uh, we look forward to continuing this uh, in a, uh, a fast learning curve, uh, ongoing and improving each other uh, going forward. Enrico has been with us uh, some 24 years, 23 years, and uh, likewise uh, everybody is coming up. So we really uh, treasure this uh, long-term relationship because uh, it's the learning curve that needs to be uh, pushed uh, on and on and uh, create uh, a mutually successful relationship. So I thank you all uh, and uh, wish you good continuation of this uh, uh, very interesting uh, boat show, but also in uh, keeping in touch uh, uh, to exchange uh, and share thoughts uh, for the future. Giovanni, back to you. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you very much to this uh, fantastic team and uh, hope to see you very soon uh, with uh, the next one.